Hey there, Matt here from Dog Wash Trailer King. I wanted to show you our brand new Dog Wash Trailer truck, right? So a lot of people ask us to have something completely and totally and com utterly uh, independent. So you didn't have to run your hoses to anyone's house. You didn't have to basically do much at all. You essentially, simply, it's completely independent. It's got its own water, it's got its own power. Um, and it's completely totally independent. So let me give you a little bit of rundown. I'll start on the outside. So first, you've got a Mitsubishi Fuso truck, obviously brand spankers. This is the only truck that we use. In essence, um, it's designed to go with a car license. You're coming a little bit closer here. You can sort of see the whole rundown of it. We've got the plastics on the seat, it's brand new. Um, the center console folds down. There's actually room in behind to put a whole heap of stuff as well. If you need to put, carry some bits and pieces, maybe paperwork, FBOS machine, taking payments, all that sort of stuff, right? Comfortable to drive. It's really not much longer than an actual car, so easy to park. A Little bit wider, but we still make the body narrower. You can make the body lot wider, but we make it narrower so it's a lot easier to park and get into tight spots, which is often what happens. So it massively reduces Compared to having a trailer, massively reduces the length, so it makes everything a lot easier. There's nothing to hook, unhook at the end of the day. The generator box here, I'll show you inside that in a minute. I'll just give you a quick rundown on the outside, okay? We've got plenty of ground clearance here, so if you have to go up any gutters or anything like that, we've got water tanks inside, which I'll show you those in a tick. We come around to this side. I'll just give you a quick rundown here, then we'll open it all up. You get your fold-up door, so it gives you protection from the, from the um, elements, and then you've also got your open door and then your drop down steps. I'll show you all that in a tick. And um, reverse camera. So when you're maneuvering around, you obviously um, see behind you, etc. cetera. Rego plate's not on, it's, I haven't got this rego yet. Uh, over here, there's a bit more, I guess you'd call it the working side. We've got our Camtech gas unit, okay? So this will heat the water up for you. And then we've also got our water inlet here as well, so, which can fill both the tanks up, which I'll show you those in a tick. Under here, you've got the ability to carry two gas bottles, right? So you can carry two nine, gas, nine kilo gas bottles that will last quite some time. The way we've designed it, right? You've got 400 liters of water, okay? So 400 liters of water will go quite a long way depending on how you're using the bath. It's got a hydro bath in it, which I'll show you that in a tick, right? Um, so it goes quite a long way. So your worst case scenario, you might fill it up once a day or you just fill it up and just re reduce everything, I guess, when you get home. So your water's in there, your gas is in there, nice and easy, right? So easy to access. Um, when we come around here, I'll give you a little bit of a quick rundown of the power setup before we go inside. So power-wise, right? So power-wise, it's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit fiddly sometimes, the door. I think I've locked it by accident. There you go. So, Power-wise, you've got a Yamaha generator here, all your circuit breakers, everything's obviously all done proper, proper electrician, and then all your um, power inlets. So this means that you can be completely and totally mobile and independent. So basically this generator will slide out. If you swing around the other way, I'll show you the inlets, et cetera, et cetera. So basically set up with three circuits, okay? So if for some reason, so there's three individual 15 amp circuits, and I'll show you inside, there's multiple tables, multiple blowers, a hydro bath, everything will run off this one generator. Now, the deal with this is, First, it's petrol, so it's nice and easy to fill up. So if you're around the you're at a servo, we put it purposely on the same side as your fuel, so you can be at the servo and literally fill up at their Bowser. So you've got your diesel there, but this is petrol, right? Which is no big deal. And then you've got your three cords. So if you decided that you wanted to run this, let's say you were set up somewhere and you go, I don't wanna hear the generator, and this is fairly quiet. You don't have the generator running. You go, okay, cool, I'll pluck this out, right? I'll pluck this out, and then you grab a cord. This is a... Here's a cord that we prepared earlier, right? So basically get this cord, plug it in, and we've designed it so multiple circuits do multiple things. Now, you would need three cords, okay, the way it's set up because of the amount of power it draws, but you sort of get that idea. So normal operation, you can have this enclosed, okay? Um, in many cases, if I'm being completely honest with you, when you set up somewhere, it's worthwhile opening up. It's just good, makes better ventilation and keeps the heat down, okay? So well and truly worthwhile um, being opened up. So you got, I've got power plugged in there. I haven't fired up the generator, I've got power plugged in there. Now, coming around the back here, I'll give you a little bit of the rundown here. So basically, your steps fold out like this, then essentially this folds over. You've got to be careful not to get your fingers. This folds over. They're a little bit stiff because they're brand new, okay? And I can see you thinking right now, that's too high, right? Well, it's not, I'll show you in a minute, okay? Um, we've got an easy handle so you can hold yourself getting up. Now, opening this door, it's a matter of turning this handle like so, right? This strap is here. I know some of the ladies that do the 
the dog groom a little bit shorter, so we've made this strap, so hanging down, so if you've got this, you can always easily extend this yourself if it's not quite long enough, okay? Then you've got this door here, opens up, swings around, okay? And we literally lock it in behind here. There's a little lock in behind here, you can kind of have a look. So you got your little lock there. So then basically, the next step going forward is you go, okay, cool, how are we getting from here to here? You've got a little yellow stool that sits down the bottom. So basically, the whole idea is, if you've, like, I'm assuming 99% of dogs will actually um, be able to literally walk up the set of stairs. So you can literally go, let them walk up, and you can just follow themselves. You can adjust this around if you like and make it a little bit easier. So then, you can now coming up into the truck, okay? And um, you might want to come up in here a little bit with me and I can sort of show you some stuff. So inside the truck, if you start from one end to the other, first you've got storage cabinets here. The idea is maximum storage. Now, some of the cabinets have holes drilled in the bottom of them to let water through and others don't. Now, a couple of important things. This is stainless steel, okay? But stainless steel and chemicals, which you're cleaning the dogs with or washing the dogs with is probably a better way of saying it, or grooming the dogs, they can sometimes have like a mild effect on it. You've got to use stainless steel oil to basically maintain it. Light switch here, on and off. We purposely put it up higher, okay, so it's away from down here and away from water. Even though it's a full-blown waterproof circuit, all done with electrician, it's, it's basically there. Cabinets as well. Now you see this cabinet here, when you look inside, you'll see there's a little hole in the bottom of it to let water through, okay? So basically, if, if you've got any wet items in there, you know, you could put wet towels in there, for example. Now, you, if you're putting wet towels in here all day long, this is important to know, right? Even though it's stainless steel, there's gonna be marks. You have to wipe it down and clean it, and if you're a groomer already, you'll know the number one, your number one enemy is the dog hair. So it's, it's cleanliness matters. Cabinets here, okay, we've made as much storage space as possible, okay? Little cabinets as you go through, you have all your little things and so on and so forth, right? Um, then, power here for your table. So your table goes up and down. I don't think it's on the same circuit. It is on the same circuit. So the electric table up and down. These tables as well, they're a powder coated finish. So as you use them over time and, you, and you've got um, dogs that might, and um, leads and stuff on there, you'll chip the table. It just happens, okay? That's just reality and steel underneath. That's just how it happens, right? And it's just part of running a business. Like it's a commercial piece of equipment. One big thing you have to not note, um, watch is when you go up that you don't hit the roof with this. So in some cases you might have to adjust this depending on your own personal style, right? Plenty of hold down clamps. So clamps here, clamps here for when you wanna um, be working with the dogs, et cetera, et cetera. Um, in here, a little bit more storage as well. So plenty of storage, as much storage as we could make, we basically made. Behind here is obviously the generator, okay? So the generator sits behind there. Fire extinguisher, another table. So this is actually designed for two groomers, okay? Now you might say, well, I don't know that I want two groomers. Then you, we can talk and we can basically remove um, um, this. Now, water tank wise, and I'll get to the bath and so on and so forth in a tick. So you've got a blower either side, okay? And then you've also got, um, You've got your water tank here, so water tank one, water tank two. Now, we've actually got a gauge on this water tank. We don't do it on the other trailers because it, it, on the trailers it doesn't really work properly, right? But on this it does, okay? So basically you've got a tank, so you've got 200 litres here, 200 litres here, so basically 400 litres, okay? Then you've got a pump that will run it through and so forth, so on and so forth. Here, more storage, this is for your blower bits and pieces. Then you actually unclip it from there and go over there and do whatever you need to do, right? Bear in mind, once again, it's a commercial piece of equipment. So these trailers, trucks, doesn't matter what it is, they get knocked around over time, but it's, it's designed to be a money-making machine. Um, little holder for your shampoos off to the side, more tethering points, a couple on the, on the roof, a couple here. Um, the clear water hydro bath, so you've got your fold-down table, so just push these off to the side, and basically it folds down. You come through and see it a little bit closer. It doesn't have its full final clean, but it's a little bit rougher for grip on the other on the bottom side. Very, very similar to a Savelle. This has been an upgrade that we've done, okay? Um, down here, you've got your two tanks, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, Your latch to shut the door and so on and so forth. Now, this doesn't have the heating element in it. It's just as a hydro bath without heating because we've got gas, right? Now, over and above that as well, um, when you're running, obviously your hoses and um, everything's pretty straightforward there. I'll swing around this side here. This side here, you've got your um, you've got your gas hot water, okay, and then you've also got your um, your shroud around. This is like an access panel if you need to get in from behind it, okay. 
um, and then your, your temperature adjustment here. So it's all designed to run 100% um, over above itself. I believe this lets the fresh water through. Whoops, shoots out. Sorry, I should have had the thing. <laughs> we, we're not editing nothing here. <laughs> the water shoots out and as you can see, the aluminum doesn't want the water. But remember what I said, it's a commercial piece of equipment, right? So no matter what you do, this is not this is not a car, this is not your home, this is like a work environment, right? So you keep it clean as possible, but over time there's wear and tear that happens, okay? So pretty pretty straightforward setup. I probably should have that in there. Pretty straightforward setup. As far as the dogs, the dogs can jump in there, no worries at all, okay? Once again, it hasn't had, had it hasn't had its um, final clean. So then one question you're going to go is one. So there's a couple of things to talk about, right? First, this is designed, this is, this is obviously a lot more expensive and the prices are below. This is obviously a lot more expensive than um, just having a standard, um, a standard um, dog wash trailer, okay? But when you weigh in the fact of how much your car is, the towing, the extra work you get done going through, like for example, if you had an extra five dogs a day done and you're not working any harder, because you're not dragging hoses out, you're not dragging power out, this will pay for itself very, very quickly. You probably will get an extra, an extra few dogs a day done and then save time because you're not doing all those things back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So is it a bigger investment? Yes, if you're an established groomer and you know that you can make more money out of it, yes, you can. Um, so there's two packages as normal. There's the premium and the standard. As far as the, the premium goes, the premium includes the generator and we highly recommend you go with that, okay? It also includes the sign writing, so it's all sign written up. We'll design it and do your whole brand on there. If you've already got a brand, we can take that and then adjust it, okay? Um, it also includes your double setup as far as your um, two, dryer, uh, two dryers go, your two tables. Now, you can take this table out. We can swap it for some cabinets. The premium has all the cabinets up here and has these extra shelf cabinets, so this big cabinet here. And then if you swing around the other side, it also has this big cabinet here and also has this cabinet here and this cabinet here, whereas the standard doesn't have that stuff, right? So basically it's always a normal story. People just always buy the premium, right? So um, it's a great value when you think about the long-term game, okay? As far as um, aircon, you've got aircon, our insulated panels, so you've got your um, five glass, then you've got your platinum core insulation, and then you've got five glass on the outside. So this is all nice and easy, super easy to clean, right? It's just a matter of um, keeping everything clean and maintaining everything properly. It's probably like we've been doing the trailers for a while now. And the number one um, thing that um, um, sort of people have said, is said, can we be more compact? Is it possible to be more compact? So we'll just step out again, just step out again and go back down. And basically if you go on back the other way, I'll go, okay, cool. How do I actually pack the actual truck up? Pretty straightforward, pretty simple. You get your door, lift your little latch, swing it around. Obviously the power is on. This little cable, you can, you can leave this cable hanging out, it's fine. Swing these back the other way so that locks the actual door. The step, straight in like that. I should have put that inside, but I think you get the idea, right? Um, your generator, it's preferable to run it. If you've got the opportunity to run it with it open, you're better off because you really pretty well should, to be honest with you. It doesn't take much to just open the door, even if you've got it open. If you, even if you've got the generator like that, and in essence, yeah. And then the door, there's a latch on the back of this door as well, so it's open. It just gives much more airflow because at the end of the day, this is a, this is a vehicle. So this actual exhaust, if we swing around here, your actual exhaust there, should actually have airflow. You don't want you don't want to have this shut like this, this completely down like this, this shut, right? Like that. You don't want to have it in that situation. This damn lock. You don't want to have it in that situation. The lock's a little bit sticky now, because because it's because it's new. Down, yeah. So so nevertheless, right? The lock's new, so it's a little bit sticky. So you want to have the door open, and in an ideal situation, at least that, because that's the exhaust there, and you want to let the air out, if that makes sense, the, the exhaust air out. So, because if that gets hot, and you have, and you leave, if you leave the fumes in there, that's obviously carbon monoxide, it's not good. So it's designed to be open. There's holes and ventilation, but the more you have it open, the longer that generator will last for you. Those generators are super expensive as well. They're a good quality Yamaha generator, okay? So bottom line is, right, 
bottom line is, as far as the, um, and you won't have as much trouble, you won't have as much trouble with the lock as I have, right? But um, bottom line is, you say, okay, cool, it's a lot of coin, right? You can get finance, pay it off weekly, or you might have existing equipment, you can put some of that money towards it, or you might just simply understand the value of having something that's completely and totally mobile, right? Uh, if you're interested in this, go ahead, contact us on the um, phone number below, or drop us an email, office at Dog Wash Trailer King. We can have a conversation. If you wanna make some slight mods, we can. Um, if you look at the page, you'll see the premium model and the standard model laid out, and then we're good to go. So looking forward to helping you. Um, reach out, we'll have a chat, and then go from there.